my most stupid purchase. Probably a, a proper schneid, shiny, all saints leather jacket back in the day. <laughs> Me and Chris Feather had gone and probably spent three or four hundred quid on a proper <laughs> all saints jacket. By yourself, Stu. I bought some jeans from in Centre of Leeds and they had these flags and whatever on and they was 500 quid. <laughs> <laughs> 500 quid, it's 500 quid on jeans. Wow. Wow. <laughs> First car, and how much was it? Um, mine was a Golf, good story, quick story. Uh, golf, uh, about, I don't know, a couple of grand about off Chris Feather. When I went to the Austra to Australia, I sold it to Jones, but I crashed it about a week before. <laughs> I crashed it and had to get the door replaced and pay it all off and get it done and sprayed it. I never told Jones and give him it and he found out what <laughs> it I don't like think that. he's ever forgiven me. No. It, was, it was working order, but uh, yeah. Vauxhall Nova, I bought it with my signing on money at Bradford. So I thought, yeah, mate, it was ace. I've just turned 17, I've signing on money, bought this Vauxhall Nova, uh, and then I wrote it off in the snow <laughs> into a wall. <laughs> um, which I, I was lucky to come out of unscathed. Say, um, if you had dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Tony Pike. From Pike to Beefer. Nice. My mum. And Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. That's not a bad That's not a bad little combo, that. Hugh Hefner. Nice. Neil Armstrong. Yes. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Tom Wynan picked Michael Jackson last week as well. He's, uh, he said, John, Tom Wynan picked Michael Jackson and God. And he said, he'd asked, <laughs> he'd asked Michael Jackson if he did it. And uh, he used God as his witness. <laughs> <laughs> that is only, there's only Tom Wynan could come out with that. So <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It, 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 absolute gold last week. Um, guys, just finish off the show. We're going to bring the fans into the conversation as we do every week. Uh, we had loads and loads inundated, so I'm sorry if your question hasn't got through. Uh, we will obviously try and get them as many as we can to these guys. Richie from Andrew Noon, when is he going to stop playing off the latest tees on the golf course and playing proper handicap tees? <laughs> Noon, I knew he'd send that. A um, good pal of mine. Mate, you love golf now, I don't love you? golf. I think it's me. It's me. It's Since I've, I've finished playing, I've played loads when I... Um, you were terrible. I was terrible. You're good now. I've got good. I uh, play put more Alison. What are you playing off? 16. 16. At the um, and I've been, I've been terrible. Um, but I used to play loads when I played and then kids and, you know, playing and injuries and stuff. So it's, um, I, I absolutely love it. But um, Noon is uh, a good guy. He's, he's, he's having a little pop there. Um, he's a good golfer, Noon. But um, you, uh, you cook with John Morrill and where are you at? Well, more like two minutes from the house, so yeah. I play, play at both. Adam uh, go, gives you some stick at cookies. I play at both, um, but more like literally two minutes from the house. Um, Stu, from Martin Howarth, who was the hardest tackler you ever faced? Such a hard one to, because you got all that to go through. I do have two that have come to mind. One was Gaz Carvel, actually. It was at yeah, Bradford. Man. I think he was play, playing for a hole. It was first team, and I ran it in, and he did smash me. Just got straight back up on that, but it's one of them where you get winded. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, it was painful. And the other one was Trent Barrett. And this was for great... Halfback. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's a big he, man. He bash. He's like six foot three and he's yeah. a halfback. Um, he then <laughs> came to Wigan. And I, I used to bring up at times and say, oh, you, you cheap shot, mate, you cheap shot, mate. <laughs> oh, to, to be fair, because I the ball had gone across me. So yeah. I didn't actually have the ball. And he, so I've gone to the light to catch it. It's gone across me. And then he smashed me. Yeah. But I didn't have the ball. Uh, but it, it smashed me yeah. He once absolutely filled me in. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. The one of the worst, probably the worst tackles, <laughs> me, and me on fault. So we were, it was a week before the 2005 Challenge Cup final. So we played Bradford at, at Edinley. Yeah. Keith smashed his ankle, drove a guy and snapped Keith's ankle, yeah. and we got, we got well dusted up. Yeah. But me being me, all game. Yeah. Chirping away, giving him stick. Game's gone. And uh, we we kicked and we got a drop out. Paul Deakin dropped out. Who has gone as balls in there? I've caught it. I'm playing my first ever Challenge Cup final the week after. I thought, sod it. I ran 100 mile an hour straight at him. <laughs> it, it whacked me, picked me up, drilled me into the floor, head butted me, head forearm, bust, bust, bit me lift, bust all my lip, bust my nose, <laughs> out I went, and he just dragged me up. And, just, and then me up, completely me off. I should have just caught the ball and kicked it out. It could have killed me. <laughs> it was absolutely obliterated me. You got brave. Yeah. One moment. Yeah, absolute idiot. My case to you both. Favourite 
moment and worst moment from Leeds Bradford derbies? Mine are easy, 2004 grand final. Yep. And worst was 2005 <laughs> grand final. We used to have some great battles. It were a proper rivalry and we were all coming through. Yeah. Um, 2004 being the first time we'd won it. Yeah. Uh, and five, obviously, no, it's nothing not, not great to, to lose a, a grand final. Quite easy for me, that one. Stu? 2004 losing, I'd say. That, yeah. that was a tough one. We didn't play well and Leeds did. To, yeah. to be fair. And, it, and also, that was Leeds coming out of the shadows. Yeah. That was the first trophy they'd won for a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. For a long, long time. And the best one uh, was kind of, it's kind of a duel, and that is, uh, was the, the Challenge Cup up, at the, um, up in Scotland. Murrayfield. Yeah, Murrayfield. First time Bradford had won forever, you know, beat Leeds and, and all the rest of it. But the, the following week, or two weeks, it was back at Leeds was the game. And they've been billed as this game as Rhino is about going to come back and they're going to smash Bradford and this and that. And then we beat them 44 like six. Amazing. <laughs> so it's just like, yes.